Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Kids are making noise. From whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann and Yesiah the Christ. Yesiah, the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God, Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah. I've done a video concerning that one. All right. Link in the description box or pink comment section. All right. Greetings to the 12th scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. There's a video as well in the pink comment section concerning Jacob's name. It's not Israel. Proper name is Yashahel, E L at the end. All right. I greet the 12th scattered tribe in 2022, scattered to all four corners of the earth. I greet you all in the precious name of our soon coming king whom the most high is going to regather his people into one vicinity and that's called the second exodus aka the wilderness aka the woman with the 12 stars over her head in revelation 12 hallelujah that event is around the corner and i greet the beautiful body of the messiah the church i greet you all in the precious name of our soon coming king messiah all right quick housekeeping i won't be too long remember my name is sakarian a solid gray border around my name when I make a comment. Anybody else pretending to be me, you know what time it is. You know that's a dirty scammer, a dirty devil, a dirty demon. You need to rebuke and report of them. All right, if you're watching this video, you have not accepted Yesiah as Lord and Savior. Watch the video to the end. It's a sinner's prayer there for you. Remember the Pet M channel, the back up channel. Please go and subscribe to that. We do praise and worship over there. All right, and um. Yes, brothers and sisters. Okay, I'll do something called the top 20 on here. Any beautiful beloved, anybody who made the first top 20 comment, um, I'll give you a little shout out. It's my privilege and honor, but it's also to <clears throat> train your spirit to be watchful, sober, vigilant, um, sober, vigilant, um, observant to the returning of Yesiah when all is said and done, Yesiah is coming back. These are the top 20 brothers and sisters under, underneath that powerful powerful video um yes concerning denmark the country denmark i've explained you need to watch that video because i've explained the reason why they've chosen denmark to be the first country in the whole entire world to come and say bye-bye to the demonic joke all right to say bye-bye they're not giving oops daisy they're not giving this anymore the poisonous cookie. Where am I? Can I turn this a little? Oh, yeah. All right. They're not giving this anymore. The poisonous cookie. So Denmark is the first country to come out and say, yeah, we're getting rid of that. But there's a reason for it. You need to watch a video. Very, very powerful, mind-blowing that the Lord has released in my spirit. All right. Okay. So these are the top 20 um, brothers and sisters underneath that powerful video. Hallelujah. Edna, guys, say Stacy and Small, Nicole, Thomas, Cynthia de la Sorda, Shanna Fisher, Meek Safar I, Adiola Sings, Marcel Lopez, Lichi or Lichi, Chinese uh, beloved name, Menasse Tribe, Esther Jean, Put God First. Leron, Leronda Joan Bates, Yvonne Powell, Sarita Matthews, Young David, De Carnival Baby, Sally Grace, Jaqueda Welcome, Ingrid Bennett, and Garnetta Reed. Powerful video. These are the top 20 beautiful, beautiful, beloved. All right. Underneath uh, that video. Okay. We are. So, yes, brothers and sisters. Um, remember to like, subscribe, do your thing to help me reach with this channel. And yeah, brothers and sisters, listen. I know sometimes you turn the video on and like for ages you don't have any sound. It's, it's dirty, you, you. Honestly, it's not me playing with the mute. Why would I mute the video? I want to do that. It's dirty you, you, the wicked, wicked demon. Because they, they, they're all girl, dirty bots. Here's the video before you hear it. Because they have to approve it, isn't it? 
So they hear it first and then they mess about and care and silly to deter people, to deter brothers and sisters not to watch the video. These people are very, very evil. And I want you all to know that this channel is shadow banned. They, the, the you, you people are saying, oh, we don't do shadow banning. They're very, very liar. Very, very, I can't even speak. They're liars. The channel, this, Carrie and Sister Carrie and wickedly shadow banned brothers and sisters. Heartbreaking, but it, you know, it is what it is. With a few brothers and sisters that comes on here and do their thing. I appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. All right. So we are near. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah. But we're also near to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist. The lawless one. All right. And we're also near to the lawlessness of sin. What's the lawlessness? The lawlessness of talking. I've spoken to you. Brothers and sisters, about it, it is the N-W-O. That's what the dirty Caesars call it. N-W-O, the lawlessness. We, The lawlessness of sin is a new world order. That's what the dirty Caesars say it is. N-W-O. But we don't call it that. We call it own. Because for seven years, Satan, through the dirty Antichrist, is going to own the whole entire world. No Holy Ghost, no Yesiah, no Ahaya in the land to help you. Your only hope is that, okay, you either take the mark or you see the guillotine. That is what is going to be own. No angel coming to save you or anything like that. And that is if the dirty sleezers finds you and put you into FEMA. So when push comes to shove, you cannot stay in your homes. You have to go into the mountains. You have to go into the caves, into the tunnel. You've got to do everything to survive and hold it out until Yesaya returns. It's going to be tough, but you will make it. All right? But the lawlessness of sin, the dirty Caesars call it that, NWO, which is a new world order, this simply means this. So just spin it around. It means own, because Satan is going to own the world. All right. We have a prophetic theme song. Hallelujah. Our prophetic theme song is, um, I want to say, oh, but there was a lie. Our prophetic theme song is also called We Are Near. It's a song that the good old mommy taught me when I was a little girl. And it goes like this. Oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now. Oh, now you are, oh, now you are. Oh, there you are, oh, there. Hallelujah. Yes. We are there and we can sing that song with right confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, I really want to do this video and get it out of the way because it's been niggling, niggling in me, in the back of my head. And because I've had, I've had other videos, that's, I want to say more important. Because all the videos are important in here, but, you know, sometimes you got to... Um, prioritize and about two months ago is it two months something like that I think it's about two months ago oh my lord I saw an uh an article I was in the news or something a beautiful beloved in the most uh, higher on my Facebook post this article and it's it is for <laughs> two months ago it's a long time isn't it anyway it reads in the it reads something like this um Hillsong, Hillsong Church, Pastor Brian, Brian Houston, okay, Pastor Brian, um, I stepped down, he's not the pastor anymore, he's into some bits and pieces and what have you, well, uh, I'm not going to be insulting or anything, but, you know, if you truly have the spirit of the Lord inside of you, you would know that Hillsong, they're off, they're not right, that church isn't right. Ahaya is not in there. I had a vision about them in 2017. And I, did, I don't think I wrote it up because I was looking for it on my Facebook. But that one, there's another one that I wrote up in 2018. Or did I do the vision? Let me go. Let me go. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um. Mm, okay. Um. Right, but yes. Yeah, I've got the vision here. <clears throat> so... That church is not right. Any and any old devil runs that church. If you want to call it a church. 
You must have Sister Karen to do beautiful songs. But who are they singing to? It's a question, isn't it? Who, who, who? Who are they giving allegiance to? Who? Which one? Yesaya or who? I'm not saying that all their songs are wicked because they've, you know, they've done some, some decent songs before they became wicked. All right. Because they did, they weren't just wicked yesterday. It took, it took time. It took time. And, um, was the most style with them at one point? I believe so. I believe the spirit of the Lord was, was with them, but they, the founders, they get beyond themselves. They had all sorts of wickedness going on pedophilia, homos, um, A, B, C, D, F, G, and all sort of rubbish going on in the church. And it was so wicked. But I remember in 2018, in 2018, the Lord gave me a word. And he says to me, do not sing all of their songs. And I was like, oh God, I do like ill song songs. And, and it's like the Lord was saying to me, I will tell you which songs that are mine. Some of the songs don't belong to the Lord. There's a song. I love this. Oh, I shouldn't say I love this song. Oh my God, I shouldn't say I love it. But it's a, it's a nice song. There's a song. I think that they're the one that's done it. I think that, yeah, I think it's them that, that's done it. And it's called. Oh, Father God. What's the song called again? Heavenly Father. Um, Hold on, brothers and sisters. Mm. There's a song that they did. It. <laughs> Father God, you're so real. They did a song in in um in 2018. This is where I had a vision in 2018, which I'm going to share with you about ill song. And the song that they did, <clears throat> sorry, in 2018 is called "So Will I." 100 billion, and they've got an X beside it. Now, when you listen to the song and the lyrics and everything, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful song and, you know, they're talking about creation in the song, how the most style, he speaks and, and, and everything comes to life. But then when you really, you know, when I want to listen to that song, there was something in my spirit and that song, I had to really question who are they singing to? And I know it's sad. I know it's sad that you listen to a gospel song and you have to question who are they singing to? And that's what you've got to do. You've got to, the Bible say you should test the spirits. Test the spirit to see whether they're of the most die, a higher or not. So when I, I, I was so drawn into this song and it's just so, you know, I loved it. But, but then something began to rise up inside of me. And I began to question in my spirit. And I said, I had, I had to ask the Lord. I said, Father, it's a beautiful song, but... Are they really singing about you? Because I'm not sure with this song. Because something didn't sit right in my spirit. And this is, a, this is a problem with some of the gospel music, the so-called gospel music. Not all of them, just because they say Jesus Christ and God and all of that, it does not mean that they are paying or they're reverencing the song to the most high. It's just like the secular music, because I know for sure like Katy Perry and, and Rihanna, that song about diamonds in the sky, that's a song unto the devil. That's nothing to do with boyfriend and girlfriend and loving. No, that is her way to say to Satan, I love you. So that they do sing, they do pay homage to Satan through music. And unfortunately, some of these gospel artists, they've sold out. Some of these churches have sold out to Satan. And it's sad and you think, oh, it can't be real. But it is true. And this was one of the songs that I questioned in my spirit. I said, something isn't right. Because I wasn't sure if they were singing about my king. Yes, the words and when you listen to it. But there was something that was off with this song. Plus, they got this X at the end. So it's called, So Will I. 100 billion x and mm, yeah 2018 but anyway that's hill song for you so you've got to be careful with hill song and the songs that they sing test the spirit before you begin to sing them not all their songs are wicked but some of them certainly is not of the lord
I can tell you that because that is what the Lord told me in 2018. And when the Lord began to reveal this to me, I began to warn the brothers and sisters on my Facebook. And because this is the first time, is it? Yeah, I think this is the first time I'm doing a video about Ilsong. And it's only because the guy popped up two months ago, Brian, who has now stepped down because of whatever, whatever, pedophilia with his daddy and one of you. But I want to listen to this, brothers and sisters, because in 2018, I had a lot of stick when I wrote this post. And, I'm, and I lost some really, really, well, I thought there were good brothers and sisters that got really offended in 2018. And they, they, um, they, they left my Facebook. They went the ways. They blocked me or they, they took themselves off or deleted me from their thing. But this is what the Lord told me in the 31st of August, <clears throat> 2018. Very short, but listen to this. This is what the Most I told me about Hillsong Church. 31st of August, 2018. The Lord, wrote, the Lord spoke to me and I wrote this. Just going to put this out there and leave it. Hillsong Ministries are of the devil. They are a very dark church. I listened to two of their songs. Remember, I just told you about the song that I, that I heard that, they, that came out in April 2018. So Will I, 100 Billion X. That was one of the songs. I listened. <laughs> Father God, this is just bringing back memories. <coughs> Sorry, brothers and sisters. A high and never lies. I listened to two of their songs, which I really like. And I was attacked by demons. Now, hold on one second. Which gospel music, which song of the most high, a high are you going to listen to? And then all of a sudden you're attacked by demons. This was 2018. I had to do the post. I couldn't believe it. This has never, ever happened to me in all my entire life. Never, I've never ever, and, and so will I, the song So Will I, 100 Billion X, I was rinsing that song out, morning, noon and night, going to work, from work, when I was on my break, I was so addicted to the song, but the Lord began to speak to my spirit, and that's, that's one of the songs where I was attacked by demons. I have never listened to any gospel songs, and then got attacked by demons. The attack came in the form of false ministering. Angels trying to sing the same hill song I've just listened to all day. So what has happened, I don't know if some of you had this experience, but I had this experience lots of time. The Bible talks about angels. I need to find a scripture before I say what I say. But I know that the angels of the Most High can minister to you. And I had that beautiful experience where I heard angels singing angelic songs. Gospel songs I've never heard of. Hallelujah. Beautiful, beautiful. So I've had that experience. Now, and that's, that's of the Lord. Amen. But this one, the attack came in the form of false ministering angels. This was... These were demons. These was fallen angels. And what actually happened, how Lord let me to help me to remember. They were singing the song. This same hill song. How can oh how can demons sing a true song of the most high? Tell me, brothers and sisters, a powerful gospel song that's supposed to bring healing and restoration and purpose in your life when you listen to that gospel music how can a demon take that up and then try to um do what they're, they're going to do with it? it it can't happen because that song is sanctified that song is anointed by the holy spirit so this is the reason why i'm telling this church is very dark burdens um Hillsong, the dark, the very, very dark people. 
Not all of them, but certainly some. So with this song, especially So Will I, 100 billion X, the hex, the X, not the X, the X is very wicked. I don't know why you put X beside, but that's their thing to tell you who they're singing to. Anyways, brothers and sisters, <laughs> they're so wicked. They're so wicked on my days. Um, so yes, I was attacked by demons. And the demons, right? The angel, the, the fake, not fake, but the falling ones were trying to sing the same ill song, song that I've just listened to all day. They were trying to sing it back to me. And I knew it wasn't the angel of the most high. Because like I say, a highest angel, when they sing to you, it's a new song. It's a song that you never hear before and the voices are, your spirit is soothed. Heart is beautiful and I, and I thank the most for that beautiful experience. But this one, <laughs> they were singing, so will I. But their voices, when they began to sing, they sounded beautiful, but then their voice become distorted. Like, I, I, can't even, I can't even do it. Because I was so taken back, I was so shocked. I've never, ever, ever, ever listened to any gospel music and then get attacked by demons. Never, never happened to me. Brothers and sisters, this was 2018. Like I say, they started singing, oh, you know, the beautiful voice in the song, So Will I. But then the voice began distorted and it was just it was horrible. Demonic song really is i'm calling it out that 100 billion whatever it's not right all right as i was settling to go to sleep because i was settling to go to sleep all right <laughs> on the night on the 29th of august this happened to now these demon came started singing they were very annoying <laughs> i knew they were sent by satan holy ghost quickly counteract it by shutting the demons down and they stop singing and disappear. See how powerful is it is when you're living a holy life. It happens. Hillsong, they're not right. <laughs> that church, I tell you. Listen, that church isn't right. And if you listen to their music, don't think you're losing out. There's other music you can listen to. Not all, like I said, not all of their music is wicked, but this one. So will I, 100 billion X, that's a very wicked song. Yes, it sounds beautiful and you think, oh God, they're singing about the creation of the Most High. But brothers and sisters, yeah, that's, <laughs> that song is not of the Lord. I know it's sad, but I have to tell you, it's not of the Most High. And I don't sing it anymore, to be honest with you. Um... Sometimes when I'm on you, you it, it depends on what I'm listening to, gospel music. It, it may pop up, but I try to ignore it and move on. Because I say, it's a beautiful song when you really listen to it. And, you know, but something is desperately wrong with that song. I don't know if it, if it, if it, if it was intended for the most high, but because the church is so dark and into all wickedness, um, the kind of give it to satan give the credit to the devil so it's the devil that created everything it's a devil that speaks and and creation here the do you understand what i'm saying because when you're into satanism when you don't worship the creator you're into the illuminati you're into the dark side you're into the occultic you've got to understand that if you are a musician if you're a church that's occultic then everything that you do will reverence Satan, but it's hidden in plain sight. Hidden in plain sight. So, the Lord has been warning me about Hillsong Church since 2018. And I made a post on my Facebook, that's why I can read it. I went back and I got the post up. Ahaya never lies. He never, ever, ever, ever lies. And I know some of you want to belong to a church and you want to listen to you. You know what I'm listening to now, brothers and sisters? I don't know. I'm just going back to the old, old gospel music. 
This is very sweet. Reverend F.C. Barnes. Um, <laughs> I've been listening to a couple of his music lately, all right? And so I've been playing his song, and this is, this, this is the reason why you have to grow up children in the most style, because they do listen. Kids are like sponge. They sup up everything. When you think that they're not, not when you think that they're not listening, you be amazed. And so I've been playing, you know, one song in particular I've been playing is um is um heroes will tell you for your sins he died. He said, Come to the waters and stand by my side he said drink from the fountain you won't be denied i have seen every teardrops that has fell from your eyes and he to tell you for your sins he died. So I've been playing that song. I've been singing it, you know, around the house. And my seven-year-old, the other day, he was singing the song. And I said, uh, where did he learn the song? He said, because you play it, mommy. And I listen to it, and I love it. So, you know, I'm kind of going back to the old time. These... 2020 gospel, I don't know, brothers and sisters. You have to be very careful, please. I know you love your God, you know, you know you love your art, gospel artist, but please be careful. And so, yes, yeah, so ill song church, it's the, the wicked. And the Lord has been speaking to me, and I'm going to say it as it is. I'm going to say it as it, as it is, yes, Lord. Because the Lord told me my spirit before I did this video. Please, if those of you who are following Ilsung Church and you are, you know, you, you're keeping up with the latest with, with, with what they're doing, please do not be surprised that there's going to be an A, B, C, D, E, F, G person who fully comes out. Like, it's not going to be hidden. It's not going to be, oh, well, we're not sure. I think, no, 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 no. This person... <laughs> They're going to be fully, and they're not going to hide it, Hillsong Church. I know that there's, you know, like the Church of England, the Catholics, the, so, you know, they have their own thing going on with the ABC, DFG community, and lots of these bishop, bishop, or archbishop of this, archbishop, they're coming out as ABC, DFG, or what a view, but... This ill song is going to take it a step for, um, further. Be careful. Test the spirits. And see whether they have the most die. Alright? So yes, I wanted to come and just do this video because it's been on my spirit. But because I've been doing other videos, I couldn't get to do it. Alright, so if you come to the end of this video, brothers and sisters, and you have not accepted Yesiah... All right, as Lord and Savior, please repeat the sinner's prayer after me, and um, and I will leave a link in the description box and pin comment section. Okay, all right, dear Yesiah the Christ, I know that you are the Son of Ahia, whom the world calls God. I believe. I believe that Yesiah have died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah, I thank you for dying for me, and I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection, and that I has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahiah, Yesiah, king of glory. I come before you right now, and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins, and to please forgive me for all I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways. 
Ahaya, I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesaya. And I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and to give up the things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, you believe it in your heart, welcome to the body of the Messiah. Hallelujah. What we encourage you to do is to read. Read Acts 2 verse 38. Acts 2 verse 38 talks about repenting and baptizing. You've done the repentance. You've said the prayer. You need to find a man of the most high, a higher and ask him to baptize you fully. Your whole body, head to toe, needs to be fully on the water. It's a spiritual transformation. When you go down in water, you're saying to the Lord, uh, you are the Christ to die for me. You atone me of my sins. When the man of the most high, a higher raised you out of the water, you are raising Christ's resurrection. You're raising to new life. All right. Okay. So you must do that. So be bold, be strong. Be courageous. Walk with a higher, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most star, higher who lives above the heavens. A higher eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Yesiah's holy name, amen and amen, amen. Let's say the benediction together. The benediction is Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless. Before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Messiah or Savior. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.